In 2014, Arlington husband lost his wife in a tragic accident. And years later, he's honoring her memory and her mission to support low-income women and their pregnancies. WDVM's Rebecca Burnell tells us more. I love seeing our community come together um, just to really lift up those who most need it, the most vulnerable members of our society. The Jennifer Bush Lawson Foundation and proceeds from its 5K on Saturday will benefit Virginia Hospital Center's low-income uninsured patients. Arlingtonians Jen and Neil started giving back to the hospital after their third complicated pregnancy. Because we had access to health care, as we went through that experience three times, we started to realize that we may have been taking this for granted. 100% of 5K proceeds will go toward transportation vouchers to encourage visits to the doctor, blood pressure cuffs for pregnant women to avoid unnecessary visits, and a pilot program for remote visits. The patients are on their smartphones. The doctor is on a, a TV uh, camera um, computer in the office, and they're having a remote visit. Some Arlington families are forced to rent rooms and apartments just to get by. Your family rents the living room. My family rents the dining room. Another family rents one bedroom, and they all share the bathroom. They all share the kitchen. The foundation is funding pack-and-play cribs to keep babies safe at night. They can actually have their own safe like portable crib that they can sleep in. In February of 2014, Jen died in a tragic traffic accident while volunteering, but her passion didn't stop. We asked people to bend so that others don't break, and that was really her mentality in life. When we lost her, that was what I grabbed onto as part of my own grieving process uh, and really to help honor such an amazing woman, wife, and friend. Now, people who didn't even know Jen volunteer for the organization in her name, reaching into their communities to give back. As you look at the logo, you'll see the mother, which is the big side of the heart, which is pink, and then the baby is blue. Those were striking colors that drew me in. I knew Jen would love them, and so we just went with it. Reporting in Arlington, Rebecca Burnett, WDVM 25. Thanks, Rebecca. And the foundation's executive director tells us that this year's 5K saw more runners than ever before. That number is actually inching towards 650 participants.